Greetings subscribers and the curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is how do you feel about progressive mindsets in historical fiction such as feminism or civil rights? Does this affect the realism in a story? Well, I have two branches of thought on this. The first is accuracy. The second is accessibility. From an accuracy point of view, what history was at the time, to cobble some words together into a rough concept, differs depending on which texts you're reading. The existent of history faculties duking it out, the conflicts on television between various historians indicate that history isn't fixed, it's changed. We now see the Iguanodon as being an entirely different shape from when it was first found, and physical archaeology and history are much more fixed than neurology and psychology. There is discussion of whether people in Homer's time could actually see the same colours we could. Was Homer's wine-dark sea a metaphor or was the colour of wine and the colour of the sea actually close enough for them that they saw them as the same colour. So if we don't really know what the truth was, realism in historical fiction is a comparison between what we think it was and what the author thinks it was. So instead of being, is this book realistic or not? The experience is, is this book close enough to what I think the period was like that it doesn't cause me to have a Celtic warrior attacking the Romans from the sunroof of his BMW moment? To be hyperbolic. So do progressive mindsets affect realism? Don't know. I mean, the mindset that people ascribe to the Vikings differs depending on whether they've read the Usborne Book of Vikings or have read decades worth of scholarly research on pre-Christian Scandinavian society. And the more research you do into an area, the more you discover the fine nuances. You discover that the amount of information we know is a subset of what was recorded. What we know of the Vikings is actually what Christian monks mostly recorded of the people they spoke to. Or the people they spoke to who had spoken to these people. So we don't have a perfect picture of what they thought. We have a several orders removed picture of what they thought, where they is only a subset. We don't know where that subset comes. We can make guesses about, well, if the spread of beliefs recorded is this, then probably people believed from this to this. But we can't say that a certain progressive mindset didn't exist. And 
the Vikings are seen as a violent people compared to modern civilized society. But that doesn't mean that there weren't pacifist Scandinavians. It just means that we don't have the evidence of them. So I can take a certain amount of progressive mindset before it pushes my, that doesn't fit my image of what the world at that time and place was like. In terms of accessibility, it's coming from the opposite perspective. There are certain mindsets that get in the way of reading if they are realistic. In, for instance, societies that believed in the enslavement of captured women societies that believed in mass ritual sacrifice. They, from a historical interest perspective, it's information, it's fun to know. From a human psychology perspective, following the way that society works, if there is mass slavery if there is ritual sacrifice at a state level is interesting but at an emotional resonance level it's hard to be sympathetic with someone who does horrific things from my perspective not because they are an outlier, but because the entirety of society is conditioned not to see them as horrific. So these things happen and there isn't an exploration of odd psychology. They do it and carry on in the same way that we will walk past adverts on the side of a bus without it interfering in our journey to get a pint of milk. So whilst I can intellectually experience the social history aspect of it, when it comes to sympathizing with that character, caring about whether or not they succeed, I am emotionally invested in these things enough that if we have a rapist from modern standards who has no remorse for it, lives in a society of people who have done it and have no remorse for it, and they face the challenge that this architecture project that I want to get through is failing and someone might be blocking me so maybe another architecture company is buying off minor level functionaries or maybe they're sabotaging the project I start to think well you're a rapist bothered I don't care if you succeed I don't invest enough in your general success because you're not the kind of person I want to succeed. So fail, don't fail. So certain mindsets don't fit. My experience of what I want to read for enjoyment, the kind of characters I want to succeed. And the same applies to certain progressive mindsets. A progressive mindset to horribly reduce everything to a false dichotomy runs from the left to the right. Someone who has a very progressive mindset on the rights of women, I could probably sympathise with more, even if it was anachronistic. 
but someone who has a very progressive mindset on the place of government, someone who wants to, for instance, destroy a fledgling democracy because all government is oppression and we should live in a state of anarchy, I'm less likely to sympathise with someone who wants to destroy society because society is bad, whether they're doing it in the modern day or whether they're doing it in the 14th century where everyone had the view that society was ordained by God. So someone who is going, well, there is no God, there is no society, it's all this, that and the other, you do what you want, would be hard to sympathise with and anachronistic. So how do I feel about them? A progressive mindset, or a mindset of any kind, that is consistent with my perception of how people thought, or is one remove from that, so it's close enough that it falls within the not everyone in the past thought identically works. And similarly, there are some mindsets that are historically accurate, but are too far from what I can sympathise with for me to find the book enjoyable. So what I want is a sort of middle zone, somewhere where they're neither correct but inaccessible, nor sympathetic, but potentially horribly anachronistic. So there we go. Toodaloo.